The following clip involves a species that California deems you're not allowed to handle. Now this is not a federally protected species or a state protected species. It used to be federally protected in 1993, but in 2006 it was actually taken off that list. In 2016, the state of California tried to get it put on a state protected species list and it was rejected. Even though it's not a threatened or endangered species, it is still a species that is strictly hands off, can't collect, can't touch. Um, there is an exception to that rule and that is if it is in danger and you are able to safely remove it from that danger. An example of that would be it's on a roadway or it's on a, uh, in this case, a construction roadway with heavy construction traffic. Um, I found this animal, was able to uh, pick it up off the road, move it off to the side where hopefully it will never get hit. I do not understand why California has this species on a no handle list um, even though it's not a protected species. That's an argument for another day. This, however, is a species that you can pick up as much as you like. Ain't that right? 17 years old, going on 18. Hope you all enjoy the next clip. So I'm actually working, or somewhat working, and uh, decided not to head back on the freeway, decided to head back on this frontage road, see if I could find any lizards on there, or maybe a snake uh, crawling around. Uh, it's about 75, 80 degrees. Uh, and I ended up driving and saw some sort of fast lizard, didn't see exactly what it was, went back and found another lizard. Now this is a flat-tailed horn lizard. Now the way that I know that this is a uh, flat-tailed horn lizard is there's a dark stripe that runs down his back. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is the only horn lizard species that has that dark stripe. So that gives them away right away. Now this is a diurnal species like all the other horn lizards. Can actually be active during uh, very, very hot temperatures. Uh, it has a, a defense, a camouflage defense, but what this guy will do more so than the other horn lizards uh, will actually run away really fast um, and if it can and get into the sand and bury itself. Um, now when I came upon him, he didn't do that. He was in the middle of the road. So here's the road that I found him on. And you can see the habitat. Some uh, very sandy habitat with some creosote bushes. Now these guys will normally uh, eat mostly uh, ants, harvester ants, but will also occasionally eat some invertebrates. Now another interesting fact about these guys is these ones do not squirt blood. Their defense is not to squirt blood like some of the other horn lizards can. Um, they do not do that. This is just a little guy. He's not, he's not a baby, but he's not an adult either. Still juvenile, still on the smaller end. Uh, but these guys will typically breed uh, April April to May, somewhere around there. Uh, he's probably got another couple years before he'll be doing that. So, super cool find. Love when I find animals at work. Just don't tell my boss. So I'm just gonna move them off the road and put them in uh, the bush over here. That way uh, he doesn't get ran over. All right, there you go, buddy. Stay off the road. Okay? Stay off the road. There he goes.